Well, friends, we are glad to welcome you all to worship, and we are especially glad to have our young folks in the house. And so we are back to tags. So if you have a young person between the ages of three and third grade, I hope you would have received something that looks like this. And this is going to get you into children's chapel after the children's sermon. Yes, Kat. Um, But for the meantime, I think I saw some young folks, especially on this side of the room, and we are going to welcome you all up for children's time. Up. Take a seat all around here. So I'm going to need you all. I'm going to ask you to face me, okay? So just as long as you can see me. That's all I ask. Yeah, welcome up, y'all. Come on. Come on. There's room for everyone. Okay. We're going to make sure all of our friends have room. Okay, so y'all are all going to have to look at me, okay? So especially for our friends down here. As long as you can see me. Hey, y'all. Hello, hello. Okay, so here's the deal, friends. So I have a word written on a piece of paper that's attached to this folder, okay? And what I'm going to need you to do is when I turn this over, can you all see this blue folder? Mm -hmm. There's a word on the back of it, okay? And when I flip it over, I'm going to need you to yell it as loud as you can, okay? As loudly as you can. Can you see me, Sam? Okay. Ready? Count down with me. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What does it say? What does it say? Oh my gosh. Y'all, I printed it off in the wrong language. Oh no. So in English, this, you know how you say this? Say this with me. You say filio. Can you say that? Filio. So in English, we would say this means love. This is the Greek word for love. But it's not the kind of love that that maybe moms and dads have, okay? That when when people say this word, when they say filio, they mean the kind of love that friends have, that friends share with one another. How many of y'all have friends? Raise your hand. How many of y'all have friends? If you don't, I will be your friend. Yes, yes, yes. Well, today I want to tell you a story from the Bible where Jesus gathers all of his disciples. There are a lot of them. He gathers all of them around to him. And as they're sitting around him, kind of like y'all are sitting around me, he asks them a question. And he asks them, do you love me? But the word that Jesus uses for love is this word. And so really what Jesus is actually asking is, are you my friends? Are you my friends? And so if there's one thing that I want y'all to know this Sunday, it's that God sent Jesus into the world so that God could be friends with us. So that we could love God, not like we might love a teacher or someone that's scary or maybe how we love cheeseburgers, but so that we could love God like a friend. And so I have a job for you. I want you all to do this for me before the day is over, okay? So I need you all to pay attention. Okay. So when I was growing up, some of my friends didn't speak verbal words, but they used signed words. They used sign language. And you know what the word for, you know what the sign is for friend? It's this. This. So you make your finger, and y'all can can do this too, congregation. It's when your your fingers hug each other, okay? And so I want you to do one thing for me. And before the day is over, I want you to find someone, and I want you to teach them the sign for friend, okay? And when you do that, I want you to remember that God sent Jesus into the world so that you could love God and God could love you like a friend, okay? Okay? Well, let's do our prayer clap, okay? Ready? Follow me, ready? In three, two, one. God, we are so thankful that you're our friend. Okay, so thankful that you are our friend. 
that we can love you, not like we love someone who's scary, but like we love someone who's familiar. Like we love someone who's familiar. Amen.